Now we focus on Amateur Rugby League and the Jennings Bitter Cumbria Cup. Hensingham are the current holders, but the Whitehaven side's success has led to the inevitable asset stripping by professionals, who've signed some of their brightest talent. This season, the reshaped Hensingham side are still gelling together. They set out to defend the Cumbria Cup with a home match against Westfield Hotel. Hensingham, like many an amateur club before them, have become victims of their own success. Five of the side who completed last season's League and Cup double have now turned professional, leaving Hensingham with the challenge of producing more of the same. Well, obviously that's what Hensingham Rugby League and, and all, the, all the amateur sides are here for. Uh, we like the breeding ground for the professional clubs. and uh, At the end of the day, we've got a fantastic youth policy. and We've got three or four lads who are, who are just waiting to jump into the first team. They're amateur players. They want to play a professional. Um, it's nice to see such the likes of Stephen Allgate um, going to work in town. You know, the local lads, you see them playing locally. You've got a, a local team like Kells. Uh, they're not doing so well at the moment. It's their own success has been the downfall. They've got all the top players signed. And they lost six players last year, and, and it's happening with those this year. Defending champions are inevitably the team everyone wants to beat. And earlier this month, Hensingham came unstuck at Broughton Red Rose. Against Westfield Hotel, they were determined not to slip up again. Well, obviously the defeat last week was a right kick up the backside, so hopefully I've kicked one or two backsides this week, and we'll be on song today. We'll do OK today, and as far as retaining the cup, I think we've a good a chance of what we have had last year. Come on, let's switch on. 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 let us switch on let us Hensingham opened strongly and after nine minutes were ahead with the solo effort from Gordon Atkinson, recently returned to the club from a spell at St. B's. Westfield scored a try of their own before the cup holders took control with a further Atkinson try and a score from Peter Digger Young. Well, we're so far we're playing 100% better than we played last week, maybe 200% better. Uh, we've shown a lot of promise compared to last week and we're back to a bit like we normally play. But it's only early. The game is a long way to go. A further score from Chris Bonus saw Hensingham 22 points to four in front at half time and all but assured of a safe passage. But Vince Hislop's coaching team wanted more. Another 10 minutes, Stephen. They've still got a lot of running their legs here. Big number eight still wants to know. Those boys play a magician on these boards. Stand off, stand off, short board on the side. Let's get the things knocked. Come on. They're still playing with you. Now we haven't won it yet. Come on. Finish them off. <laughs> Did you get the bun, Are they a generous bunch down here then? Oh, very generous. They put a pound in every time. Westfield, promoted from last season's second division, fell further behind within two minutes of the restart. Nat Winterton's smart change of direction gave him clear passage to the line. Midway through the half, Westfield staged a mini revival, scoring twice to pull back to 28 14. Come on! It's waking up! The home support were growing a touch restless until a late burst of scoring ensured a healthy winning margin. Atkinson completed his hat trick while there were further tries for Paul Morgan and Chris Bonus. Gary Turnbull and Nat Winterton shared kicking duties as Hensingham finished well on top, winning by 46 points to 20. <laughs> the Workington side played with plenty of spirit, particularly in the second half. But in the end, the cup holders, with their eight tries, were just too good and are now safely through to the quarter-finals of the Cumbria Cup. Well, very pleased. Obviously, after we played the way we played last week, we've come back well. It's better to come. It's not better to come. We're very pleased with the performance. Well, I mean, a uh, fight back, but, but you, can, you can't play catch-up with against teams like this. It's, it's a lot harder. They can't do it. In the, top, the top teams can't do it. And they can't expect teams that just come up from the second division to do it. As I say, the, the pace this year, we find it a lot, a lot harder. The Cup quarter-finals will be played a week on Saturday, with the holders having a score to settle at home to Broughton Red Rose. It's competition time again, and in a moment, the chance to win a year's subscription to the top weekly, the Rugby Leaguer. First, though, a look back to last month's competition, when we offered two VIP tickets for the Scotland A South Africa match at the Green